it has been a hot week, especially for some kids who are dealing with scorching temperatures inside classrooms with no air conditioning. And I bet it's real bad on that second floor, right? Well, News 12's Nadia Galindo has some tips for parents to help kids tough it out until the school ends later this month. A slight breeze through an open window doesn't do much for a hot classroom, according to fifth grader Tyler Hewlin. It doesn't make a difference. Like the heat is staying in there. The Graham Elementary School student from Mount Vernon says her class is so hot it makes her feel sick. Like sometimes I feel like I'm going to pass out or throw up. That's why the 11 year old stayed home from school today. When it's hot, I can't focus on my work and I want good grades. And if I can't focus on my work, then that's a problem. A problem her stepmom, Jonna Hewlin, it's, it's worrisome. Took to Mount Vernon School District administrators. The superintendent has said that the buildings are old and they it's not as simple as putting in an AC. They need to be rewired. The district sending us a similar response, adding we are aware of concerns regarding heat in some of our buildings and classrooms, stating schools have designated cooling areas that students and staff circulate through during the course of the day. Heat exhaustion can land someone in the hospital. So we wanted to find out what parents can do to help their kids headed to a hot classroom. Dress lightly, clothing loose, light, um, certainly hydrate before eating light meals before going to school or sports activities. It's also important to recognize the signs of heat exhaustion. Whether they're feeling tired or starting to look fatigued, certainly always cue into those tips. That's what Hewlin did. Something has to be done now. She's hoping air conditioners or even a fan can be added to her daughter's classroom or else Tyler might be missing more school as temperatures continue to climb. In Mount Vernon, Nadia Galindo, News 12. And other symptoms of heat exhaustion to watch out for include nausea, headaches, and dizziness. The best way to address these symptoms is to get out of the heat and, of course, stay hydrated. All right, in Putnam County, some parents are urging the state to lift the mask mandate, saying they are a danger to their kids. News 12's Lisa LaRocca was at the latest rally there.